This is a follow-up to my original MinimOSD video. Since then, I've been asked several times if it's possible to use a GoPro with a MinimOSD setup. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Thanks to everyone who suggested that you can get these boards from Ready to Fly Quads for $10 and they come with a version 1.1 firmware. And you'll see that I have my original cam disconnected, the video's disconnected. Now I still have power going to it just because I plan on using it on my next flight. But uh, the key here is disconnecting the video and we'll get the GoPro set up. Okay, the main thing for the GoPro to work is you need a video out, out cable. I'm using the TV out port and you'll notice this ready-made RC cable. And we take the ground from the GoPro, run it to the ground on our transmitter and our video out of the GoPro. We run that into the video input on the minimum OSD. So the only real difference with the GoPro is we're running ground directly to the transmitter, video in where we were running video in from our Sony FPV cam. And of course the GoPro has its own power source. So uh, we won't be worrying about the 12 volts coming from the board to power the GoPro. And as a side note, I've received a few comments from people asking what firmware version I'm running with my Hero 2. This is version 312, 312 that was released on July 29th, 2013. So there are obviously differences in firmware versions and I've heard of those with older firmware not being able to do uh, FPV video out. Okay, we have our APM powered up, minimum OSD. I'm gonna fire up LCD screen. And for starters, we should see the OSD information display on the screen. Okay, so we have that. I'm indoors, so we're not gonna see a lot of useful information. Now let me go ahead and turn on the GoPro. And now we have live video with OSD information coming from the GoPro. Picture looks pretty good. You'll notice a little bit of letterboxing just because of the GoPro output resolution, but definitely sufficient for, I'd say, close range FPV. So it is possible to get OSD information mixed with your video out signal from your GoPro. So I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Before I wrap this up, let me share just a little nighttime project that I've been working on. It's a case for the minimum OSD board. So you can see there's a bottom to it and a lid. And that kind of just snaps into place. It's my first snap together part, so I'm still kind of fine tuning that, but I'll finish that up, do a, just a video kind of documenting the process, and then I'll put the files on Thingiverse uh, for those of you interested in downloading and printing. So until then, thanks for watching.